You can add so much value to your holiday away from fancy hotels and posh restaurants. These days, people are wanting to travel the world and volunteer their time. And I've found a very special place where you can do just that right here in Bangkok. I'm in Klong Toy, an area known for having the oldest and biggest slum in the city. But amongst the cramped and uncomfortable conditions is a shining beacon of hope for the future. This is the Mercy Centre, a sanctuary for abandoned, orphaned and trafficked children. So I've just arrived at the Mercy Centre and I'm about to meet all of the children. They're about to start their morning warm-ups before they get to class and I cannot wait to meet them all. There are 180 kids aged two and up being schooled here, including some who live in the surrounding slum, and there's no excuse not to join in. The Mercy Centre has been helping children across the city for more than 40 years, taking in orphans and street children and giving them access to shelter, healthcare and education. So little. There you go. What's this? Oh. Oh, you're done. Hello. How are you? That goes in silence, patience and grace. moments I'll never replace Fear of It's about 35 degrees outside and you cannot escape that heat even in the classrooms because there's no air conditioning. So what the children do is they put this white powder on their face to help keep them cool. The centre was started in the hope that by providing education and care, local children will grow up to be able to break out of the poverty cycle. Wow, very clever. It's so beautiful. Five, four, three, two, two, one, five. High five. Yay! Catholic priest Father Joe has been at the core of the Mercy Centre since the beginning. But we started with 21, we've taught 50, over 50,000. 50,000 children, 50, 000, that's incredible. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's great, mm -hmm. that's great. We've changed the education system of the whole city. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, with more and more, you know, we had 35 kindergartens. Yeah. So it really is about providing an education and health care well, and a family for these children, isn't it? Yeah, they, they don't have any mommies, so you have to, you got these mommies for them. created such a beautiful family here and I've heard you've never ever turned a single child away. No, I haven't. I mean, can, I wouldn't dare. How could, how could you with these, uh, these smiling faces? That has to be the most rewarding thing. The good work and generosity of Father Joe in this charity stretches far into the community. The Mercy Centre runs five orphanages, 35 preschools, a hospice and legal aid teams. Everyone works together to safeguard these children who are vulnerable to human trafficking, abuse, drugs and HIV. It 
is so comforting to know that places like the Mercy Centre exist, especially for little ones like I. She only arrived yesterday, her father has passed away and her mother is living with AIDS and cannot look after her. As heartbreaking as it is, it is so nice to know that places like this has given her a shot at life, which she may not have had otherwise. Cute as a button you are, aren't you? <laughs> The centre cares for 35 children who are living with HIV and AIDS. Test results will determine whether I is carrying the HIV virus. Volunteers are crucial to the running of this centre and Father Joe and the staff here welcome anyone willing to donate their time and resources. Now George and Lucy, you guys came here 10 years ago to the Mercy Centre and so what keeps you, keeps you coming back? Oh it's definitely the children, the, yeah. it, they just warm your heart and we sponsor three amazing girls here, we just love seeing them grow up. Tree, you say that, tree? Nurses, butchers and teachers have all risen from the grounds of this amazing institution, proving that these kids can overcome their tough starts in life with care, attention and love. Anyone can help these beautiful children out at the Mercy Centre. <laughs> Whether you choose to volunteer your time or sponsor a child, you really do know that every little bit helps and it really does improve their lives. That smile says it all really, doesn't it? <laughs> little giggling girl. <laughs>